What's up, guys? Uh, feels weird being in front of the camera again. It's been a few weeks. Um, just been hectic with show season, and then uh, we recently have been, you know, trying to get into a place up here, and we finally found one, but it was a very convoluted <laughs> transaction. Um, and then just moving in general. I mean, I'm, you know, my house in Eugene is two hours away, so I only have one or two days a week to get down there and pack up with my wife and then get stuff back up here. So it's been a, a lot of back and forth, and I've just been been busy so um videos unfortunately have kind of taken a back seat but we're getting settled and i want to get back to a more regular schedule so we're going to start that regular schedule with a review today um on a product that i found at ata um, the archer trade association show and that is the mule stabilizer so you're probably looking at this going what the hell is that um this is a stabilizer and it this little wing you see on the front here, so I have it on a bow. Um, in addition to being a stabilizer, when you're carrying your bow, which let's be on, let's be honest, like when you're when you're bow hunting, especially out west, the shooting portion of your hunt is maybe 10 seconds out of, you know, five days, 10 days, 14 days. 99.99% of what you're doing is hiking around carrying your bow. Um, this stabilizer, when I I can carry it a lot of different ways, but if I grab my bow by the handle, how most people do, the stabilizer goes up against your arm, and when you put it at your side, that leverages the weight of the bow up against your forearm. And it, it takes off the weight you feel in your hand by like 40 something percent. Um, you can also carry it you know, this way, and the lower you grab it, the more, the more lower on your riser you grab the bow, the more it leverages it. So like that, I mean, it's crazy. I can hold on to it with like one finger. Um, I think it takes like 60% of something like that, 60% of the weight off if you carry it this way. Um, and it's just, it's one of those things that as soon as I saw it, I was like, how has nobody thought of this before? Um, it's got a lot of other features to it as well. So it is an all machined aluminum bar. Um, I, I don't know if they're going to ever make one out of carbon. Um, but in this machining, what he's been able to do, so you can see all these different holes in there. So that, that decreases the overall weight of the bar significantly. Like I know a lot of people are going to look at that and say, oh, it's aluminum. It's heavy. It is not. It's hard to tell any difference between this and like your typical carbon bar. I mean, just in my hands, they feel very similar in weight. Um, and then like on this bar, you can see, so there's a, there's machined threads on the bottom here on the front so you can add stabilizer weights either on the bottom or on the front here um, some guys i've seen you know they'll actually put like a six inch little bar on the front of this or they'll take um, like on the hoists the new hoist they have that little stabilizer nubbin on the bottom they'll take that and put it on the end um, so it gives you a little more forward weight um, but with all these holes here i can mount like you can mount a GoPro or a Picatinny rail and put a flashlight on it, like if you're hog hunting or something down in Texas. Um, so it it's a stabilizer first, doubles as like a, a carrying aid, I guess. Like it just, it really does <laughs> take so much weight off your hands, which again, sounds kind of silly, but over the course of like 10 days, carrying eight pounds or seven pounds, however much your bow weighs in one hand all the time, like you will feel it. You'll, you'll get, you know, like your trap and your neck will be a little bit sore, your shoulder will be a little sore maybe, you know, your grip or whatever. Um, so it really does work. And it's kind of a, <laughs> kind of a funny story the way he started the company. He was actually, uh, in Idaho on an elk hunt and, uh, he was shooting one of the, he had it at the show, the stabilizer that was like the brainchild of this company. It was one of those old trophy Ridge stabilizers where it kind of like weaves in and out of each other. Um, and at the end he took like a little branch that was in pretty much the same shape as this, like a V shaped branch and just lashed it to the end of that stabilizer with like some, some paracord. Um, and that the light bulb just kind of went off. So after that, you know, it took him a couple of years to kind of nail this down, but he came out with this. And, uh, like I said, it's one of those, it's not a gimmicky thing. It actually, um, is a product that, that solves a problem. Um, and yeah, it, like I said, it's a stabilizer first. You don't, you don't sacrifice the way your bow aims or shoots to use this. It shoots just as good. I'm definitely gonna run one this year. Um, when hunting season rolls around, I'm probably gonna start shooting with it in you know July or something and just get used to it. But I've shot it on our demo bows, and like I said, I put this on, then take it off and put the carbon bar on. I really don't notice any difference in terms of the way the bow aims or reacts during the shot or vibration or anything like that. Um, 
you know, aluminum, people always talk about vibration, but he's put these rubber dampeners in here. So there is no vibration or any more vibration than it would be with like your stabilizer that you're running now. Um, another thing, and I don't know if this was intended or not, but on the quick release bar, so this, this, if I unscrew, you know, this lever all the way, the stabilizer will slide right out of this quick release mount on the, that goes into the bow there. Um, you can position this lever in you know, however you want, but if you position it up, what is really cool about it is if I'm hiking along and I think I see something, rather than setting my bow down to get my glasses out, which I do that all the time. I've always set my bow down and like I've put a stob through my sight doing that. I've kicked my bow over and, you know, frayed a string, stuff like that. Um, with this, I think I see something, that little lever just goes right in your pocket. Boom. Or your belt or whatever, your, you know, your pack strap, whatever you can hook it to. And now your hands free, you can glass, take a picture, whatever you want to do, your bow's right there, it's not going anywhere. Um, like I said, I don't know if that was intended or not, but it is kind of an added benefit in my opinion. So, um, kind of a shorter video today, I know, but uh, the link for these, so we sell them at the shop here, you can buy them on our website, the link will be in the description of the video um, below. So. If you want to hop on there and purchase one of these, I do not think you will regret it. I think it's an awesome product. Um, it's a cool, just, you know, it's a guy and his wife running the company, so it's not some big corporate thing that you're buying from. They're just a small, small bow hunting family trying to make the world an easier place by uh, carrying your bow better. <laughs> so um, check them out. Again, that's the Mule Stabilizer from AIM for a pass-through, I believe is the guy's Instagram. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a believer in it. I'm excited to run it this year, and I think you should be too. So... Thanks for watching today. Remember, precision is a decision. Keep it in the middle. I'll see you on the road.